Well, it looks like the Jets are in the news again, but not for the right reasons. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Guys, every Monday, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, I do my live call-in show. This week, I have none other than Chris, better known as the Entertainer Talking Sports. So stand up and then sit back down and click on the link in the description if you want to hit the little bell for notifications for when that live stream actually goes live. We will be taking your phone call questions, so make sure you tune into that. And don't forget, Tuesday... We're coming back with the Talking Jets panel. Me, O'Leary, and Greenbean are going to be talking all the Jets topics coming up, taking your call-in questions, and just kind of having a little bit of fun. But let's move on to the video today. Today we're talking about Woody Johnson, the owner of the New York Jets, in a CNN article that was released yesterday. So quick overview, Woody Johnson, the owner of the New York Jets, became the U.S. ambassador for the U.K. back in 2017. Uh, Christopher Johnson was left in charge of the team in Woody's place. Now, this article that came out from CNN is accusing Woody of a lot of pretty racially charged things and sexually uh, charged things. So let's dive into some of the comments. I'll link the entire article down below in the description so you guys can read it in its entirety. In 2018, ahead of an event for Black History Month, commonly marked at U.S. embassies around the world, Johnson appeared agitated and asked if the audience would be a whole bunch of black people, according to one source. Three sources said Johnson questions why black community would want to sep- want a separate month to celebrate black history and argue that black fathers didn't remain with their families and that was the real challenge. One source said to an official who heard the remarks was stunned and that the incident was documented and made known to both the OIG inspectors and a supervisor. The article goes on to say four sources familiar with Johnson's meetings told CNN the ambassador hosted official gatherings at posh men's only clubs in London. Eventually, Johnson was told by another diplomat at the embassy late in 2018 that he had to stop holding those meetings. Three of the sources said none of the embassy's female diplomats would have been able to attend. Two sources said that the ambassador indicated he preferred working with women, but he suggested that was because women were cheaper and worked harder than men. All right, so that is a whole lot of not good for Woody Johnson. And to be completely honest, it's not a whole lot of good for the New York Jets either. It's, you know, this is embarrassing. It's not a good thing to have your owner, the guy that's supposed to be in charge of this entire organization. So there is a whole lot wrong with all these comments that we're hearing. And Jamal Adams has come out and said, we need the right people at the top. Wrong is wrong. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. If you don't think this is wrong, you're part of the problem, not the solution. Now, I admit I retweeted that screenshot of Jamal's tweet, and I initially thought, oh, you know what? This is probably Jamal just trying to use some more leverage to get out of New York and just kind of tick off the owner. And then I read the article, so I'm, I'm guilty of tweeting before reading the article, so I apologize. want to retract that in this statement. Uh, I fully agree with Jamal here. There is no place for this in the NFL. And if you think this is any kind of way to conduct yourself, especially when you're supposed to be a, a person in like power, <laughs> important power, this is not okay. Not, not all right at the least. So how does this affect the Jets? Well, there's got to be some type of investigation. It seems like there's an investigation. It seems like there's, a, like there's a lot of sources involved in this. So I'd be pretty surprised if anything came out of this where it didn't really stick to Woody. It sounds like there's probably some some documents and paper trail here. So a lot of people are starting to compare this to the Donald Sterling event that happened in 2013 where he was caught on, I believe it was tape recording, just kind of like really saying some racy things and saying, I can't believe you would take black people to uh, my games and those sorts of things. He's the owner, was the owner of the Clippers. So a lot of people are saying Woody Johnson should sell the team. Now, I think you probably have to make sure these are all concrete because right now it's circumstantial until it's you know, fully proven, but it, it really doesn't look good. Um, that said, will Woody Johnson sell the team? Or what would I like to see happen either way? Now, Jeff fans have always kind of been on the, hey, Johnson, sell the team anyway. So you'll see some fans are kind of, I don't want to say excited, but, you know, a little more maybe amped up than they probably should be. Not, I don't know, whatever. Um, but do I think, well, what would I love to see? I would love to see <laughs> Gary V, our buddy Gary V, uh, by the Jets. I, you know, it's more of a pipe dream than anything else, but that would be a really cool thing. 
Now, realistically, what I'd like to see come out and have happen is Christopher Johnson, who's still running the Jets right now, I want him to come out and have a full investigation of the New York Jets by an independent company, have him come in, just say, hey, look, we're trying to figure out if there's been any racial discrimination or sexual harassment that's gone on in our team. Uh, you know, it seems like there's been some issues with, with Woody, and we just want to make sure that there's everything is uh, correct in the Jets organization. We saw what happened with the Washington team, the Washington football team. Dan Snyder had like 15 different, I don't know, it was 15 different employees, tons of different sexual harassment claims, really not good uh, over there. So I don't want any of that kind of embarrassment if I'm the New York Jets. And as a fan, I don't want to see that. I don't want to be embarrassed of the team that I love rooting for. So in my mind, I would say have the independent investigator take care of everything. Just break it down. Do everything you have to do to show that you are being transparent. You want the perfect situation uh, in your hiring, your workplace, and all, all the ethics in, involved in it. So I really like Christopher Johnson. If I had to guess, if Woody is forced to kind of step down from the Jets, remember Christopher Johnson and Woody Johnson both bought the Jets uh, in, what was it, 2000 or 2001. So Woody is the majority shareholder, but Chris does own a portion of the Jets. So I would like to see Chris possibly take over the Jets full time, have Woody sell him his portion if that's you know what has to happen. I, I think Chris has shown compassion and has shown the right type of leadership. Even if I don't agree with all his like personnel decisions and those sorts of things, Chris seems like a decent guy. I know back when the whole protest and the anthem and things like that were going on, he came out and he said, look, I believe in our players' right to, you know, the ability to protest, and I don't think fines or anything like that should hold people back from voicing their opinion on important topics. And he offered to pay the fines for those players. Now, I don't believe any Jets knelt or did anything like that, but I think he was in the forefront of, of owners and in the forefront of just people in general, and I think he just seems like a good guy. Now, on the football side of things, this has some huge implications if you're the New York Jets because if Woody Johnson <laughs> stays the owner of the Jets, you have a, a, a pro sport that is predominantly African American and there are going to be a lot of players that do not want to play for an owner that they believe is racist or sexist and from a talent perspective, the Jets are going to have a hard time bringing in talent that you know <laughs> would be in free agency. So from an important X's and O's standpoint, I think the Jets need to get this right. From an ethical standpoint, I think they need to get this right. I think they need to hire the investigator, and I think you just kind of iron everything out that way. Guys, let me know what you want to see happen. Do you want to see Woody forced to sell the Jets? Do you want to see Chris take over? What are your thoughts on Gary V? What do you think the punishment should be for Woody Johnson if these claims are true? Let me know all your comments in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets.